So when Lisa asked me yesterday um, if I would talk about scale and spread accelerants, the first thing I told her is I don't have a PhD. Um, and I'm not quite sure if I know what that, what that means. And, um, and then she said, no, 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 I just, just talk about Wikipedia. And I thought, oh, OK. So she wants to know about um, how Wikipedia has scaled so successfully over several years and, and the applications um, in the OER movement. So I went back to the office in San Francisco, and I tried to find some experts, right? Um, and uh, there were only fundraisers and tech team in the office, so um, because our global development team and programs team are traveling as they should be around the world doing great things. So um, I think I figured it out on my own. Um, and first I just want to talk a little bit about where we are now in terms of scale. And uh, this graph shows um, Wikipedia's growth from 2006 to 2011. And um, as you can see, we're uh, a pretty massively used resource um, and a massive resource. So because Kathy Nicholson likes data so much, but I didn't have time to do any sort of fun like mapping things. Um, I just have some numbers up here, um, which shows also the scale of Wikipedia and the different ways in which we measure. Uh, we measure impact uh, at the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, Wikimedia Foundation, by the way, I should have uh, mentioned, as some people don't know this, is the nonprofit that runs Wikipedia. Um, so, I want to point out two numbers on here that are really important. And the first is that we have 414 million readers. That's unique visitors per month. And the second is that we have 90,000 active editors. So that's where we need to scale in the future. We need to turn a lot of those readers into editors, or this can't work. So, First, I just want to um, make a little analogy here, which is um, I don't have access to a Wikipedia article right now, but some of you probably do. But um, if you could think about a Wikipedia article and look about and all of the different things that make it into a good article. Um, and there are many different pieces that can be traced back to people who specialize in different skills. There are like Wikipedians geeking out all over the world who care about categories, tables, typos, details. You know, there's, there may be a kid, a 13-year-old kid in New Jersey fixing typos and a scholar in Germany um, writing on the same article. So it's, um, it's a pretty broad and diverse thing. So we know from looking at any one article that different pieces are contributed by different people with different specialization and knowledge. So I want to think of that in the context as OER, which is that just as with a Wikipedia article or the Wikipedia itself, we cannot create OER successfully without collaboration and shared broad principles and goals in this community. So I think a lot of um, what we're calling scale accelerants in OER, which I read as what makes it work, are compatible with the combination of factors that make Wikipedia work. They're pretty broad. And perhaps some are pretty obvious, but I think it's important to list these. Um, community is definitely Wikipedia's biggest asset. We are volunteer-led through and through. And open technology, just like an OER, it's our greatest tool. Our peer production model of collaboration, that's our best practice. The rich discussion and debate <clears throat> behind Wikipedia articles is really an educational tool in its own right. Uh, freely licensed content. So we went over this yesterday, and apparently it's not news that there's free content on the internet. However, Wikipedia is fundamentally successful because of its potential for, re for reuse, because it's copyleft, which is worked for before for the open source model. It would not have scaled to where it is today without a permissive structure. When someone adds content, we can't judge their intent, only the result. We just ask them not to keep to themselves. Our more permissive licensing structure is even suitable to free market approach to knowledge dissemination by commercial and non-commercial entities alike. We can't really own knowledge. The platform is another 
obvious scale accelerant for, for uh, Wikipedia and the Wikimedia projects. Um, the MediaWiki and several other thousand websites as well run on the MediaWiki platform, which is developed by the Wikimedia Foundation. Quality. Um, I could probably talk about quality for like three hours, but that would be really boring. So um, I'm just going to say here that what, from what the evidence shows so far in our research into quality on Wikipedia is that it scales with growth. So in terms of breadth, depth, and sheer content, these are all factors that lead to higher quality on Wikipedia. And so there are many ways in which we're currently measuring and assessing quality. And one thing to note is that there, I think parallels also what's going on in OER right now, is that there's been a sea change in kind of the um, <clears throat> mainstream acceptance of, of Wikipedia as a quality, quality resource. And I think OER is at that point as well. Um, the next thing that uh, is really key to our success is that we have broadly shared principles and pillars um, it's the same ones that OER has, so freedom, accessibility, quality, independence, openness, diversity, transparency. Um, but I also like the pillars on Wikipedia, which, is, which are simple and really easy to understand across cultures. So it's an encyclopedia. It's got a neutral point of view. It's free. It encourages you to break the rules, but not be stupid. And it wants you to be nice, assume good faith, and please don't bite the new editors. That's an issue. Um, also, I think our global demographic um, is really a key part of our capacity to scale. We have 30 autonomous chapter organizations around the world. Wikipedia is in 270 languages, and we have a great opportunity for reach going forward. Um, our grassroots production model. This is something I think that is great to learn from. Um, this is from the bottom up and cult makes all Wikipedias culturally relevant and their, and their people have Wikipedia in their language. Um, and of course we are completely decentralized um, and we have many stakeholders including the Wikimedia Foundation. So um, I've said a lot here save for perhaps uh, the context, I guess, in which Wikipedia was able to leverage free information and open technology, which is that it happened on the forefront of participatory culture. So today, when collaboration is increasingly the norm and is changing the context entirely, we have to be really adaptable and open to change, which, in addition to several other factors, is a key reason the Wikimedia Foundation um, that supports Wikipedia and the Wikimedia projects can scale as an organization. So I'm going to talk quickly about what we do to scale as an organization to support this massive, massive resource. Because we're pretty small, disproportionately small, in fact, in comparison. Um, and our, our main priorities are very, are very focused now, especially since we've completed our strategic plan. I have copies if um, anybody wants some after. And uh, our priorities are really to stabilize the technology infrastructure uh, develop the technology and support the people who make Wikipedia work. That's the volunteers. So right now we're growing technology and program capacity at a pretty rapid rate. We're scaling up really quickly as a nonprofit, and that can be scary in today's economy. But we know that we are always going to be small, agile, adaptable organization. Um, there, there's a limit to how many people um, we, we can have as, as staff because the main work is being done by our volunteers. We're also um, based on a very sustainable funding model, which I think is a great example for anybody who wants to talk about um, fundraising at any point in time, let me know because that's what I like to talk about. Um, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's based on the many small donations. You see the, the banners of Jimmy Wells' face once a year. Um, for about two months, and then we take them down as soon as we've made our operating budget. It works out. Um, but that's also diversified by grants from organizations like the Hewlett Foundation, and the Hewlett Foundation really supported us at a key time in our growth, and we are so grateful for that support, and they continue to do so, so thank you. Um, one thing that um, 
is really important to us as we grow and scale is that we're always research, research driven, data driven, and that, um, and that uh, we're having consistent ongoing feedback loops to, that inform the direction of our work, and that we're sharing our data with you. It's all open, it's all out there. Um, on that note, using that data and research to inform our work, we have to be agile enough to know to leverage the models that work and to not force the models that don't work. We have a great program right now that's really working um, well, or some aspects of it are working very well, uh, working with schools and universities around the country. Um, it's called the Wikipedia Public Policy Initiative. Um, under a grant from the Stanton Foundation. And so we're partnering with universities around the country that are using Wikipedia as a teaching tool in their public policy classrooms. And we've massively, already massively, improved the content in this topic area because the students are the engine that does the work. Um, and we've set about planning to scale the successful elements of this model on a global, ba on a global basis, including a Wikipedia ambassadors program um, which, will, which are volunteers who uh, support teachers and, and classrooms in integrating uh, Wikipedia into their curricula. Because there's so much to be learned from Wikipedia, um, not just how to edit, but um, the elements such as uh, media literacy and collaboration that uh, students should have in today's society. So um, going forward, we have a pretty ambitious strategic plan. Um, and it's really based on um, the premise that there is a circle, a virtuous circle between uh, our reach, our quality, and our participation. And that the best way we as a foundation can, inter we've identified the areas that we as a foundation can intervene and the best um, ways in which volunteers can support this. These are really big numbers. Um, and I think getting there, as I said, the number one challenge is going to be uh, participation. So we have a lot of things we're doing to uh, address that challenge. Can I ask who here, does anybody edit Wikipedia in this room? That's, that's pretty good, of course, I mean, in the OER community, but um, <laughs> I was, and then I was going to say, does anybody read Wikipedia in this room? Everybody. Um, but it's really like you can see the discrepancy. So Vic said something yesterday, um, which is that the door is open now and we have to go through it and execute. Um, and, it, and a few years of really observing these gatherings as kind of an outsider OER, um, I've seen it take huge strides towards the mainstream and um, with the help of its great supporters, of course. And this year, like the context and the resources of OER are really ripe to just like bring it all together. So just like Wikipedia, OER has a scale accelerance in place um, as a community to take off, but it can't do so without coming together around the definition of open. That was really important and key to us. Everyone has a role or experience or expertise can contribute, especially in this room. So I hope that everybody can integrate and make it work because the opportunity is here. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.